Today we've got a laptop. It's shutting down for no apparent reason. Working a couple of minutes on the internet, watching videos, and all of a sudden it shuts down. Um, after troubleshooting, we worked out that this laptop is overheating. This is a common problem with laptops in the summer, and nine times out of ten, we clean out the fans and everything goes back to normal. Most severe cases, we have to replace the fan. Okay, every laptop is different. Today I'll be showing you this. This is an HP G62. Um, some laptops just have an inspection cover on the bottom, a couple of screws, and you have access to the fan. Some laptops, you just take out the keyboard, and you'll have access to the fan. This particular model, the fan and the cooling system is underneath the motherboard and uh, it's quite a big job to get to the fan remove your battery remove all the screws that you can see Underneath the covers, you might find, you will find on this particular model, two, three other screws. Okay, you can leave the hard drive in, but I recommend taking it out, putting it in a safe place, because we do not want the hard drive to get knocked about. So take your hard drive, put it in a very safe place, and that will go in last. Do not disconnect the the battery. That's this round circle here with the red and black wires. So we don't lose the memory to the CMOS. Once you've removed all the screws and all the covers that you can see, you should be able to just stick a fingernail and slide out your DVD or W. Okay, that's all the screws out of there. Next, we're going to take out the keyboard. Just use a thin enough screwdriver to use a thin enough screwdriver to push through the keyboard holes. Don't force it. Okay. Try not to bend the keyboard. On this particular keyboard, there's a clip here under the bus. This particular keyboard had some mirror tape which was also holding it down as well as the screws so um, make sure when you take out the keyboard that you do it in s slowly enough just to undo the tape but without damaging the keyboard okay undo the clips for your uh, you have for your power button and for your mouse and your keypad and for the there is um, the wires for your speakers okay so once you've undone all that you're going to now remove this whole top cover um, it's just clipped on plastic clips on the side run a, a plastic tool slowly around the edges try not to break any clips and there we have the motherboard exposed okay because this fan is not completely underneath the motherboard you can shine a flash flashlight through this hole or through the vents and make sure that it's not blocked okay um, let me show you what it looks like so basically this is what it looks like you have a cooling fan you have a heat sink and this cools your CPU and your graphics card um, 
the air is pulled in from the bottom and blown out through this, these copper holes here and over time they block up and you end up with a complete blockage of these vents so even though the fan is turning the air is not traveling through here and it's not doing a cooling the computer overheats and it shuts down okay so this particular model here I will blow some compressed air through these vents and all the dust and hair and whatever is blocking it are going to come out here. Afterwards with a flashlight I will make sure that it's 100% clean and then we can put it back together. So if your laptop is shutting down and obviously it will be getting hot, you'll feel it, it will be getting very very hot. Um, a simple clean up of the fan or taking it to somebody who knows how to take the laptop apart and cleaning the fan can save the life of the laptop because many laptops have had their motherboards damaged by overheating. I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching. Okay, so we've got the laptop back together. Exactly the opposite way of taking it apart. And uh, let's have a look now. We've got the CPU temperatures idling somewhere around the region of 45 to 50 degrees which is very comfortable for this time of the year so that's it fix done thanks for watching okay so a couple of hours later after fixing the other laptop another laptop came in with exactly the same problem this is an Acer 17 inch this is a Travelmate 7520G okay so this laptop much easier we have an access panel at the bottom of the laptop take off the panel and here we go there's the fan and have a look what is blocking the vent so you see why we have to disassemble the the laptop and get to it because if you blow air through the vent and blow this sort of dust into the fan you can actually end up blocking the fan and stopping the fan from turning at all or you could damage the fan so that's why we have to take the laptop support to do a proper service okay